First to uh, two disastrous polling results for the Tories, which predict the party faces complete and utter annihilation at the next general election. Uh, the first, conducted by its Servation on 15,000 people, predicts Labour will win more than 45% of the vote with a stomping 19-point lead over the Conservative Party. If the polling is accurate, it means the Tories will secure a paltry 98 seats compared to Labour's whopping 468, putting even the Prime Minister's constituents of Richmond and North Allerton at risk. And if Rishi thought it couldn't get much worse, a separate poll sees a surging Reform UK costing his party even more seats. It predicts that if Reform fields all of its candidates, the Tories could be left with as few as 80 seats in Parliament. Despite this doom and gloom, the Prime Minister is insisting his plan is working really, uh, claiming the country finds itself in a new economic moment thanks to his bumper package of economic reforms. And while it includes a one pound and two pence rise in the national living wage and a cut to national insurance, Labour describes Sunak as detached from reality. And if that wasn't enough, Sunak is also fielding a revolt from his own MPs over plans to criminalise homelessness. More than 40 Tory ministers are prepared to vote against the proposal, which forms part of the government's flagship crime bill and gives police the powers to fine or move on nuisance rough sleepers. Yeah, uh, not a great uh, finish to Easter for uh, Rishi Sunak. Uh, these polls are pretty devastating. I mean, one, one would hope, uh, I don't know why I hope, do I hope? Yeah, one would hope that the Tories don't get wiped out to the extent that uh, some are predicting, uh, because if they go down to as few as 98 seats or even further, they may, may be a spent force. This may be a point in Brit British history uh, where we decide, just like we once did with the Whigs, we've had enough of the Tories. Uh, there may be a sea change, don't you think, Ed? Well, I think we've got a lot to work on with this poll, actually. Uh, first of all, there are the Kevins of this world who will now vote Tory at the next election because they're worried about a Tory whiteout. So that's going to bring a lot of voters back to us. It gives us a number to work with. 98 <laughs> seats is the low, is the lowest, is the floor. Can we go higher? These polls are absurd. The idea the Prime Minister is going to lose his uh, seat is for the birds. So clearly they're totally overcompensating and they're sensationalising uh, the risk of the Tories. There, there is not... everything to play for. The polls will narrow, inflation will reduce. People know about the economy you around this give table. The Prime Minister Interest rates six will weeks, come down. Lose his own you, seat. you would say that, Ed, but here's the problem. <laughs> the Prime Minister seems to be, and, and I hate it when I agree with either opposition or, or politicians that I couldn't possibly see myself voting for. But when they say he's detached from reality and he's talking about this economic yeah. moment that we've got, because he's completely missed the opportunity. This is a government that has time and time again had an open goal and they've missed it. Why? They've got a complicated tax system, they could have simplified it and helped small business. They haven't. They've gone for national insurance, which is a tax on working people. Fine, get rid of it. Have that as an aspiration, because you've punished every single pensioner up and down the country because national insurance doesn't affect them. You've still got a tax system the that is not incentivising work. Lock. Yeah, hold yeah. on, hold on. Sorry. The triple Emma, lock. Well we, done. What's your view? Could we go back to the poll? The method of this polling, this is the, the multi-level regression yes. and post stratification it's actually quite an accurate poll. This is a mega poll, 15,000 people. This actually gives, in 2017 and 2019, this gave a very, very accurate prediction. One thing. Second thing, this poll predicts Tories will be an England-only party. They will be literally... Oh, we've been doing England in... only okay. for years. Okay, that they will be we, that's a... standard Still, for us. They will be obliterated in Scotland and Wales. Pretty shameful. They will lose every one of the red wall seats they gained in 2019. This is not good news. I'll tell we you something, the Emma. Is... The only poll that matters is the council. So you're poll saying that 98 is a good number because it gives because well, things can to only work. get well, better. That's well, I, be I mean, uh, uh, Keir Starmer says Rishi Sunak is a bit detached from reality, and unfortunately, I have to add you to that as well because I don't see anything positive about this polling for the Tories. You'd be like, oh, that's the the, the, the bottom the bottom <laughs> mark. I mean, are you serious? Yes, right? I'm yeah, very serious. Horrific. Esther. Look, I, I'm less swayed by polls because I'm more concerned with actually presenting the British public with different visions they can mm. buy 
buy into. So I don't want the Labour Party to be riding on this and thinking, oh yeah, the exactly. polls suggest we're going to win, so we don't have to offer the British uh, public a, a vision, an alternative vision, not the same vision, but thinking at the edges, an alternative vision for what Britain looks like. And I think this is the problem. I don't want to see sort of independent uh, policy propos proposals like cutting an NI or anything like that, because it doesn't form part of a broader plan for the country. Okay, you're cutting NI, okay, you're giving a, the working people a tax. What is, what is the bigger picture here? What is, what is this supposed to do for when the country? When you see a poll like that, it makes you want to vote Tory. It doesn't make, it doesn't. Yeah, but you've got to, <laughs> but Esther, Esther also made about your strategy. <laughs> yes, it makes, it goes so it makes you feel we can sorry. Only go it makes you feel sorry for no, it. No, that, that is not that is your right. right. <laughs> that is not it the way to win an election. It makes you want to vote Tory. Esther makes a really important point, though, which is all about having a vision. No, it's not. It's about decent policies. No, I'm sorry. That improve the lives of people in this country. I'm sorry. I've had enough of these nonsense vision things that they do. No, I'm sorry. That is a nonsense. And what I'm trying to say is very clear, which is if you have a vision... And vision have, doesn't then, pay the bills. Perhaps you'd like to let me finish the sentence. Because if you no, have a vision, if which is then backed vision. up by policy, which is very clear, and the Tories have abandoned every single piece of vision <laughs> that they had. That, uh, that, don't uh, try and convince me. I'm... That, I've I'm given up. <laughs> well, you may have given up, but the, here's the point. So have they, and that's the issue. When it comes to law and order, that was their point. When it came to the economy, that was their turf. When it came to... Uh, defence. Immigration and defence, that was their turf. So they had the vision and then they delivered on policy. And I agree with you, you can't just have the vision and no policy, but they haven't got either. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with you on that. Agree. There we go. <laughs> Let's not talk about vision. The Tories don't deal in that. Uh, one of the things that uh, is causing them so many problems is, of course, the migration crisis. Uh, uh, and uh, more and more uh, voters, because of that, are switching to Reform UK, they say. And uh, Tory voters who have switched to Reform insist they could be tempted back to the Tory fold if Sunak promises a national referendum if they're on immigration. <laughs> That's according to yet another poll. How many polls? <laughs> you want to work for the poll companies. They're really busy at the moment. Uh, <laughs> this uh, latest poll, uh, the 500th of the day, uh, finds <laughs> that uh, while most reform voters couldn't be tempted back to the Tories, whatever they promised, 42% would consider backing Rishi if he took hardline action on migration, including holding a referendum on the issue. And how about this as well, Esther? How about just uh, sending the boats back mid-channel? Well, Try that one. Exactly, and that would work. I mean, I suggested that we had a referendum on this because at least it would be binding. At least the government can't say, oh, yes, we'll take back control and then have thousands of people come across the shore, which since 2018 is now the size of Birmingham. Can I just point that out? Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, the, the whole reform scaremongering... Well, yeah, exactly. The whole reform scaremongering for me is just baffling because it's rooted in arrogance. How dare you think you're entitled to a vote and then say, oh, actually, we've completely failed on most of the things we promised, but don't vote for reform because they, they, will, they will bring something or they won't get any seats. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, where's the sales pitch, right? You have to earn people's votes, not say don't vote for reform because they'll make things worse for you. That's yeah, what if you vote for in. reform, you're going to let in the Labour yes, Party. I know, but they they're coming Ed, anyway. Ed, 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 this is the refrain. A yeah, vote for reform is a vote for That me, is the but, refrain. But, I just but, refrained what, it. Does Sunak not understand <laughs> The reason that a lot of Tory voters are going to vote reform is spite. It's because they hate what the Tories have done to this country. What have they, they done hate to the this way country? That, well, they've abrogated Are you blind? What do you think they've done to this country? country? No, you're taking they're a bunch okay, of Lib Dems. I mean, lot. come on, come on. You're talking about a party here that Esther is seriously thinking about voting for that wants another referendum. I mean, referendums go really well. Go yeah, really well, don't they? And a referendum... <laughs> you know, let's solve well, the migration the crisis British by a having a referendum. Let's give the British public a say, You know, the Tories have reduced the, the, reduced the boat crossings by a third and they have to deal with Albania, which is reduced... The number of crossings by 90. Let's have a government that gets things done oh, for the really, country. Ed. Not these reform Sorry. scaremongers. Ed. And if you vote for reform, response, you'll Macy. get a Labour government. Okay. And you what? will have to watch Keir Starmer every blah, blah, single blah, blah. day for the off. next four years. Lord Vasey. Think about that. Lord Vasey. Just defending the Tories <laughs> ironically. Yeah. Lord, Lord Vasey, <laughs> bore off. You know, <laughs> we know that they have failed on their core task, haven't they? Um, what? Lord Vasey. We've got two aircraft carriers on defence. That don't work. We, we've You're been the saying. leading nation in Could terms I... of defending Let Ukraine. Emma have a word. We've lowered taxes. Well, he challenged me. I've got to answer it. We've lowered taxes. Yeah, and only 800... Well, get... He's talking about our core values. And only 800 illegal migrants came across the channel and this week. And we've reduced weekend. inflation. Ed, how can you say that? Yesterday, 442 small boats crossed... The channel. Yeah, eight, Yesterday. Eight hundred people came across the Yesterday. channel. Yesterday. You just That's said gonna we've lose. stopped. You just said we've stopped the we've small We've stopped boat. a lot of Albanians. 
<laughs> Whatever they're paying you is not enough. <laughs> OK. It's just well, I, I, think, I think we've all worked out that anybody who's in the Tory party at the moment is on a different planet and they perhaps need a little bit of reality. <laughs>